Oi, gente, tudo bem com vocês? Oh, by the way, bem-vindos de volta para um novo vídeo. Before I start, if it's your first time in this channel, then you probably don't know much about me. My name's Jake, and I'm currently traveling in Brazil and also visiting my girlfriend's family who live in Brasilia. So that's what brings me to Brasilia at the moment, and we're staying here as our sort of base and also traveling around Brazil a little bit. So today, OGS Sabado, and we have woken up early. It's quite early, it's... Oito mail. Oito mail? I think that's how you say it. 8.30. <laughs> and basically, uh, Tommy's parents are going to a... A feira. Yes, yeah, a feira. It's going to be in one of the satellite cities in Brasilia. One of the neighbourhoods outside of the main area of Brasilia. It's going to be in Taguatinha. So, we're going to go to that this morning and check out what's going on there. I'm hoping that it's going to be some more, like, kind of foods that I haven't seen before. I'm going to try and buy some, like, unique stuff again stuff that I haven't tried before. Yeah, I don't know what it's going to be like a traditional Saturday morning market in Brazil. In England we have like Saturday morning and Sunday morning markets, so it'd be cu I'm curious to see if it's anything like that, but just kind of like Brazilian style. What else? OGS Sabado. No, I already said that. Today is the final of the Copa Libertadores. I think I said that just about right, Libertadores. Flamengo versus Palmeiras. And since Tami's mother is a Flamengo fan, Tammy is a Flamengo fan, and that makes me a Flamengo fan. Flamengo! So, tonight, or this afternoon, because the game's on at 5pm, we're going to try and find somewhere to watch it, and yeah, hopefully we'll be celebrating a win. I love football, and in England it's very common that when there's big games like this, you go out to a pub, and yeah, it's usually big crowds of people celebrating and just enjoying the game, so hopefully it'll be something similar to that. I don't know if it is, but I'm sure it is. Brazil is a football-loving country as well, just like England. So yeah, I'm hoping to go and enjoy the football match in a good atmosphere. Before we start the video, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be in Brazil a while and I've got loads more videos, loads more exciting ventures to come, so subscribe. Check out all my previous videos in Brazil if you haven't already. Damn likey. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already up there and the link is down below if you want to just click directly on the link então vamos lá so we just arrived in this fair and I'm in the mood to buy things I want to buy things I want to find something to eat I want a caldo chicken Christmas grapes why are they Christmas grapes? Do they taste? What's the taste? Sweet? Are they very sweet? How much? Don't have to pay our first purchase of the day. No? Hey, oh, are these like a whole grain one or something? <laughs> What are these, Tom? I always see these things, I don't know what they are. Oh, no idea, Hans. Provolone. Provolone. This is uh, like that tapioca, no? I like this one. Yeah, I like it. With, um, can't come to a fair. Which is the occasion? Can't you come here? So I have my pastel and caldo chicana. I've been waiting for this for a long time. It feels like absolutely heaven. I love this drink. Love pastel. Tiny Fantasia. Perfect. You have to do this in a in a in a what's it called? Fair. Fair. 
I'm, I'm completely satisfied now I had my pastel and caldo chicano. Muy tu feliz. Qual peixe? Cuidado com o Não é no milho. What's the thing? Oh, Pomonia. Pom 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 yeah. That's how they make it. Ah, I must yeah. say, I have Pomonia. Fazer Pomonia. Pomonia, mingau, milho. That's good. We'll try it. I'm going to try Pomonia again. The last one I had was frozen, so I want like a fresh one to try. I don't really like corn as a rule, but I'm willing to try it again if it's fresh. I think it's going to be good. Has to be good. See, full experimenta. Be good. Muy bom. Poi bar is very nice, but I just don't know what I'll use it with. Me too. What would I use it with? Poi bar. These ones, uh, these are the ones they had in the salad, huh? So good, these ones. None of you guys have tried these before. These are like the nicest fermenter ever. What did I buy? I brought a few things. I'm going to show you guys what I brought. The fair itself, obviously, as you can see, was like mostly kind of food based. The thing I was most happy about was pastel and caldo chicana. My favorite combination, this. I think it's the best. Definitely the best. People say cachinha, iguanana, but for me, pastel and caldo chicana definitely the best combination so i managed to get that so i was happy with that bought some other stuff as well so let's have a look what we bought some of the things we bought from the fair season are they seasonal tell me please are they they're seasonal grapes so tommy said that she finds these buys these at christmas time because they're seasonal don't get them all year round tommy's dad bought the cheese cheese with the holes in again and I brought some tapioca. I had this at, in Rio, I had it at Tommy's auntie's house. It's like, oh, Jesus. It's the thick stuff. Um, so, it's nice. With, I had it with dessert. I wanted to try it with acai, because we also have some acai. Aqui. Muito acai. So I'm gonna try the grape. Mm. Strange. Yeah, it has seeds. <laughs> it has seeds. It's nice. It tastes exactly like the um, the grape juice you have in Brazil. It's very common. Suco de uva. Yeah, it tastes just like that. I think it must be made from the same ones. Very sweet. Very sweet. Mm. Definitely does taste different to the grapes in England. I don't even know where our grapes come from in England, to be honest, but... Mm, it's good. Yeah, it's bitter. Very bitter, and I'm eating the seed as well. <laughs> so, almost a couple. Now is the time to go out and find somewhere to watch football. I think I can hear a lot of fireworks already. I can hear an atmosphere, so I think it's going to be good. All right. Many Flamengo fans here. Show the Flamengo fans. It's one hour into the game starts. One hour to kick off. So we have a special guest appearance by Anita. I just hope I don't get copyright for this video right now. Two Brazilian teams in the final. So a Brazilian artist is performing for the game.
so it's half time. The main guy loses one nil. It's very frustrating. Tommy's pissed off. I'm annoyed because I came here to party and if Flamengo don't win, then it's not going to be a party. There's some secret Palmeiras fans here as well. Palmeiras fans are hiding around here somewhere. They're not wearing their shirts. So, we have 45 more minutes for Flamengo to rescue, save the party. I think it's going to happen because I've seen this before. I've seen this scenario before. So I think it's gonna happen. We just we just need him to score at least. And we go from there. Let's see what happens. Tommy's smiling. Just score one. One one now. 15 minutes to go. I just don't want penalties because I cannot handle the stress of penalties. At least the atmosphere is much better in here now. People are excited. It's way more minutes of football. I think I want some pastels. We lost. <sighs> KG. Yeah, that didn't go to plan. That did not go to plan. The plan was to go out, watch the game, Flamengo win, and then I get to celebrate with everyone. Because there's a lot of Flamengo fans in Brasilia. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Just disappointed. Just disappointed. I was looking forward to that game for such a long time, as were many people. Um, so, yeah, it was a little bit disappointing that they didn't win. Two funny things though. <laughs> the guy, <laughs> the guy that fell over when the referee touched him. Renato, aí o Davidson. Caio, que é isso, Davidson? Que é isso? É um menino maluquinho, Davidson. Mas hoje o torcedor do Palmeiras deve olhar para ele e falar assim: hoje pode. If that's not a meme by now, then. <laughs> And it should be. Some people on Instagram were asking me what I thought of the experience of like watching a big game in Brazil. To be honest, like being from England, it's kind of similar. Like we're both football loving countries. So you usually get like bars and pubs full of football fans. The only thing I'd say is like where I was at least, it was a bit more friendly. Whereas like usually when I go to pubs in England and watch like big football matches, it's just like, Typical English, you always get a little bit too drunk, just way too drunk basically. Um, so there wasn't any of that, which was nicer, it was a bit more chilled. But yeah, it was a shame that we lost because I would have liked to kind of been in that environment where everyone was celebrating and happy, but it just wasn't meant to be today, it just did not happen for Flamengo. So I was a little bit disappointed, of course I was a little bit disappointed. The day in general, it was a good day, it was Sabado in Brasilia. It was a good day. I enjoyed the market. Finally got my hands on a caldo chicana. It's my favorite drink in Brazil. Definitely right here, it's the top one. I think it's my favorite drink in Brazil. Pastel as well, where you combine it with pastel. Definitely 10 out of 10 rating. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments if you're a Flamengo fan and you're disappointed as I am. Let me know if you enjoyed this video as well. If you've got any other ideas, kind of things you want to see me doing in Brazil, kind of videos you want me to be making while I'm here, let me know and I'll try and do what I can to make some more videos like that. And of course, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down there, give a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.